Yo guys, what is going on? Welcome back to another video on the channel and tonight we have uh, another video guys We'll be talking about all the stuff that is supposed to be coming tomorrow. There's a lot of stuff that we could get um, I'm very uh, skeptical that we could be getting a couple of things tomorrow. We'll kind of go through all that today There's no loading screen. I feel like I think there was earlier um, The loading screen that we know so far is that we are gonna get road to the final three So basically guys road to the final is nothing too crazy um, I gotta fix my face cam here. Oh, there it was. It actually just popped up uh, Literally Under a second ago, but yeah road to the final three is nothing too crazy guys um, as you guys know Road to the final is just very standard um, Live card release this one will probably be a little bit shorter. It'll probably be just like these cards um, In terms of they'll probably be less there won't be a full team there probably will be an objective card as well uh, to go with all that or you know, maybe there's going to be a second freeze team as well in packs, but I think it's going to go to road to the final um, In packs as well, but it will be really interesting to see because as you guys can see on the screen today is a Thursday And we have center back Navas and we still have three more freeze SPCs coming. So also when we take a look at it um, 11 foot freeze items go to packs tomorrow So there is a chance tomorrow that we get a smaller road to the final team and we get more freeze players I think that's very possible uh, we'll see. I'm not sure yet. We'll see. We'll see. Um, I'm not sure yet. Um, guys, really, I, I got liquid, uh, and I've now been trading icons. Uh, I haven't done too much trading this week. This was, Today was my first day back on the market. I took off since last Sunday. Last Sunday is the last time I traded, and I'm still getting some lazies. I'm still selling some stuff. I listed some chem styles for my club, and uh, I'm trading with some prime icons. I bought two really big icons. I just bought a 90 Hullet, and I bought a 98 Pele. I'm being crazy. I don't know what it is like four days not on the market and your boy is out here trying to buy trade prime icons already like big boy icons So we'll see how it goes Um, you know, I'm not sure yet what is gonna happen. Uh, I bought Pele for 11 2 I think and so I'm trying to sell him at like 12 1 12 I think mine's 12 1 1 and then I bought Hullet at like I think I think it was 5 9 fresh But it might have been 5 8 5 and these are just cheeky little deals. I'm trying to get 6 3 7 for that So we'll see how they go and look, if Pele doesn't sell, and you know, I, I might be down to use Pele in the weekend league. So we'll kind of see how that goes. I also had an Eto that I got today at 4 mil. I posted this on my Instagram story. Um, and we sold him at I think like 452 or something. Uh, which we might have undersold a little bit, but these icons are really expensive, so I wanted to make sure I sold it. Uh, but what I really wanted to talk about tonight with you guys is not only the fact that we could be getting um two teams tomorrow, um, there's also a very high chance, in my eyes at least, that we also may be getting, um, I'm actually going to open this real quick. We have a mega pack, which is pretty nice from, uh, I think that's a foot friendlies challenge. There's a very high chance that we could be getting, um, I think another batch of prime icons. If we don't get those, we will probably get, I think we're going to get some prime icon SPCs, man. We haven't had, um, any sort of icon SPCs really since, um, I think like two or three weeks ago. So I think EA is a little overdue with those. And, uh, because of that, I think we probably will see. Um, potentially some more prime icons. So that is something that you guys could look out for tomorrow uh, And that 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 could be big man if we get anybody good I mean that would be cool, but again, I wouldn't bet on it, but I think it's a possibility I don't know if EA is gonna fully release um, You know more prime icons in the packs tomorrow. I think that one's a little bit less likely um, Because I think they just they just brought these out and as you guys can see on the market I mean R9 is still not even on the market um, Some of these prime icons are very very rare um, Dino is one of them. I mean, I've been selling seeing Dino sell like 8.6 So these guys are very rare on the market and because of that, I think there is a strong chance Um that we probably see maybe another week until we get these but again I wanted to point this out to you guys because I think this is a possibility Uh that this could happen uh that we could be seeing more cards going to packs tomorrow now Would that do anything to the market? It really wouldn't all it would hurt and i'll show you guys a prime example of it is like Let's say, you know, Bird Camp's a good example. This guy went down at like 940 earlier today. And uh, if you take a look at it, what Bird Camp's Prime's price has done is killed this 90 price. This 90 uh, a couple of weeks ago was like 660, 670. So it's going to price correct all these cards. What I thought was really interesting today, and my biggest win, I mean, I told you guys that I was taking a couple days off. So I bought a lot of English icons because I felt like that would do really well with Beckham. And some of the jars that I had 305 310 315 even 320 I was able to sell at 390 today. So that was a really nice hold for me um, You know through the week although yeah, and then I think 
that's really what we should expect for the promos tomorrow, guys. I mean, the road to the final cards are pretty dead until, like, February. So, it's an interesting one that they're going to bring road to the final, I feel like, because I don't know how alive those cards are going to be. And I don't, I don't know, like, the real... I wouldn't say significance. I just don't know, like, how... Why they're bringing those cards right now. I mean, they probably just want to get them onto the game. But I think that would be a little bit better of something to come maybe in a couple weeks. But I know that they have Team of the Year coming still and all that stuff. We do need to do the Silver Star uh, card. That is something that I really want to do. Uh, as for the team this weekend, I mean, obviously, it's my Icon Swaps team. Um, it's, it's, it's a tough one because I don't know yet exactly all the players that um, are going to be incorporated. But this was like the last time I played Weekend League. I used this team. I got five wins. I think it was uh, last weekend, but I think we're going to definitely use Velocity this weekend, and uh, we'll probably figure out like some sort of icon that we'll use uh, to go with that Velocity, so we'll check that out, and I want to talk about this Jesus Navas card, man, because I saw a lot of people hating on this card, and I think, let me see the price of it, man, because I didn't see the price, but uh, 140k, so he's a little, he, he's a little overpriced, I'll give you that, I will give you that, but you know, I think this card is really unique. For two reasons. I think he's going to be one of the most like responsive center backs on the game because of his height, his acceleration, and his agility. Um, you know, it's a link to Kunde as well, which is quite interesting. That's why I don't think I'm going to do it, but I considered it for a second. And I was like, wait, if this was under 100K, I would have probably done this because it's a nice link. It's a nice link to Kunde. And I think that that is a nice feat to have. Um, the, the downside, I think, really with this card that I would recommend against it is high medium. I don't like high medium in FIFA for center backs, man. The only center back I've ever used that's gotten away with high medium has been Team of the Year Ramos. And I remember that was in FIFA 19, I think. And even then, boys, like his gold and his inform, they, they couldn't get away with it. So it's really got to be a, a, a special scenario for a player to be able to get away with those high medium work rates, man. They are they are killer, man. I swear. They're not good. The, the center back will, will leave you way too vulnerable way too many times. So... Definitely something to consider there, guys. That that is a problem with, um, you know, the work rates there. I think personally, I thought the high medium is just, it's not, a, it's not a great look. Um, but again, high short passing, the car is decent. Uh, you know, is 130k too much? Yeah, but the card is definitely decent. So, uh, yeah, it, it's it's an okay SBC. I, I love these position changes. I think they're really fun. Um, but yeah, the the work rates are a little bit off. But we tried out Politano on the on my second channel, and. Uh, a lot of my comment section was saying they don't understand how I'm going to be able to get somebody out of quick soul recovery because it's broken right now. But uh, if that's possible too, because I have two Ter Stegans, I'm going to wait to see what EA drops tomorrow because Pulitano is available for six days. But I think I might be getting this Pulitano. Um, yeah, he looks really good. So I And he was really good too. I tried him out and I really liked him. So, you know, for a little bit of an untradeable to have, I think I have Ter Stegen and a couple other players could probably do this guy for like 40k. This is uh this is interesting to me, man. I'm I'm not really doing the whole icon pack craft this year. I just don't. I I I'd rather get players, man. I'd rather get players uh, that are that are um you know that give me guaranteed good stats. Players that I like, and the loans have been the blessing about this, right? I guess even if you're really thinking about getting out of Navas, you could always try out the loan and kind of see how that rolls with you. So that's obviously uh, another plus of this promo. But yeah, I mean, let's not get it twisted, man. I I really miss Footmas. Um, I wish we had Footmas. I can't even lie. Um, you know, this is uh something that I love, man. I love Footmas, and I think that it's been a little bit lackluster uh this year without Footmas. So, you know, it 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 is still possible though that we could get Footmas, guys. That I mean it's not out of the question. Um I think Freeze will continue, but you know, that's that's obviously that's not fully out of the question yet. And then uh the only other thing I'm gonna say is that we're going to have to figure out how we're going to get Blossy on 10 chemistry. That is not going to be easy to do. Uh, actually, no, it's not bad. Somebody sent me a team, so we'll kind of figure that out. I wanted to also say, I have been playing against this 84 Kunde, man. He is insane. I've played against him a couple of times doing objectives, and geez, this card is really, really, really annoying. So, yeah, man, GG's to EA on that one because that player selection was really, 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 really a good, uh, good one for, for sure. Um, yeah, man, so... That's about it, guys. Nothing too much else going on there. We have a sale. I wonder if that's anybody of any significance, and it's not. It's Pepe, because you always light up thinking, wow, you got two players. You got a 6 mil and a 12 mil player in your transfer list. You know, can you sell them is the real question. 
And I think other than that, I, I guess I want to take a look really quickly at uh, Team of the Week to see if it rebounded at all, because I know we had marquee matchups this afternoon. And uh, it doesn't really look like it went up a ton. I think Lozano's up a good amount. Yeah, Lozano's 267 right now. And uh, he went down to like 250 during marquee today. So he has gone up a lot tonight, which is a pretty good sign for the market. I would like to see what Kunde's at. Kunde is 75 right now. Earlier today, he was at... Uh, nothing, nothing, the drop was not too significant. He went to 63 at rewards, which was obviously way too low. Uh, that's a huge drop for that card. This is the advantage of rewards, guys. You guys can see if you're up in the UK at this time, man, it's so, the market goes so low, um, for current team of the week. Usually within like two to three hours of rewards being open. Eh, not two to three hours. I'd probably say like four hours. It, it just goes way too low and they start to go up a lot because it's just when the mass, it's the mass of people who come onto the game and all want to use these new cards and obviously the supply is just not as prevalent as it was and then obviously it goes up that's how it works it's supply and demand economics so that's also something that you can see through a lot of these uh players it's, it's a huge trend man um we also need to figure out you know is there a way that somehow we can start david beckham i don't know if that is possible but i want to start david beckham i mean if it wasn't for ea dropping that crazy card i i just don't know if it's possible i think actually no it is possible it is possible. We can start David Beckham. We're going to have to, basically, we're going to have to get Mendy. I think we're going to have to get Mendy on the left. I'm going to try to see if we can do this real quick. So I think if we were to get Mendy over here, and I got to take a look at Alex Tellez's price. I think he's like 7K. All right, so I'm going to take the money on that real quick. 7.6. I think if we get Ferland Mendy over here, which, by the way, we need to pack this guy on tradable because... He is a god for chemistry, man. Every time I'm building a team, I'm like, okay, I need Mendy because he gives me all his chemistry. And, ha, uh, dudes, I swear I'm buying this guy back every weekend and losing coins. But I think if we put a Real Madrid player over here, this should be doable. Um, and then I also was taking a look earlier today. I think we can use Mukieli. I was, I had a Prime Zambrata, but he just sold. I was going to use Prime Zambrata, but... I think we'll slot in uh we'll slot in Mukieli over here would be the uh would be the plan. Although that Zambrata looks so good. I was like, I really wanted to use that Zambrata because he looked sick. But I think if as, as long as I mean, I don't necessarily want to use Varane, though. That's the problem. I mean, we could see if there's another center back. Man, this is why I kind of want to do Jesus Navas, but he's a lot, man. He's 137k. But I'm like, okay, if I get Jesus Navas, I got everybody on chemistry. Actually, I mean, technically a do works. Um, no, Beckham is going to need more. We're going to have to figure this out, boys. I wonder, I wonder if Beckham, if we put, is Beckham on five there? If we put in Varane, let's just see for the Real Madrid link. Maybe we get like Sergio Ramos's in form or something. Beckham is still on five is the pro. Well, with a manager, it'd be six though, right? Is that a La Liga manager? I think Beckham is needing one, one more link to be on six or seven. Um, Probably another formation that we can rock out with too. But yeah, these are the players that I'm trying to use. I mean, I'm down to throw in like a third player that's like an icon or something like that. But I definitely want to try to slot in that Marquinhos because we just got his SBC done this week. Um, and I'd like to try to use him a bit. But other than that, I mean, that's probably what I'm trying to do something with this weekend. Probably these types of players. So we'll, we'll see how it goes, man. Thank you guys for watching the video tonight, though, man. I hope all you guys are doing well. And I will see you guys in a video soon. Peace.